This is so cool. You know, I can't believe a lot of things about this game at the moment. And in a good way. Like, I can't believe that we're on Ilum. I can't believe that we're going to go find a lightsaber crystal to make our own lightsaber after the other one broke. I can't believe all that crazy storytelling that we just got with Order 66 and everything. And, and like I said, it's a good thing because, like, all of that stuff is so cool. Um, like, when it boils down to Ilum... You know, Ilum has always been a canonical planet in Star Wars. They, they weren't planning on changing that from my knowledge. I don't, I don't anticipate them ever changing that. But, you know, let, let's talk about, like, Star Wars The Old Republic for a moment. In SWOTOR, Ilum is, like, a major planet that you go to. And the fact of the matter is, there's such cool lore that is totally erased by it being in Star Wars The Old Republic, which is technically not a canonical thing. Max Force. Secret discovered. Enter the Gathering. Younglings come here for the sacred rite of the Gathering. A test all Jedi must pass to build their lightsaber. Oh man, I love this. This is so cool. But yeah, so SWOTOR, you know, technically speaking, is not canonical. You know, it is set in the Old Republic, and in that sense, it is canonical to the Old Republic, but, you know, that's so far behind all of this stuff that, like, I don't, let's say we're playing Fallen Order 2, or what, crap, they actually have a title for that. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember. Every Jedi comes here as a kid. Or they did when there were Jedi. What? It's like rock slide or something going on over there. Uh, we're still missing a chest, so we gotta look around for a chest out here. Totally cool with that. Shattered Lake, Shattered Lake. Okay, cool. Just making sure. So, you know, we're, we're not gonna be playing the next game in this series, and we're not gonna find a... Like a mask of Revan, right? Like, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I feel like the Revan stuff is super cool, but they've not done much to to integrate Star Wars The Old Republic into, or any of The Old Republic into the canon, um, which is a shame. But that's the thing. It's like, that's why I cannot believe that we're on Ilum, even though it is a canonical planet. Like, it features so heavily in Slotor that I'm, I feel so connected to it in really good ways. I'm having a feeling that this chest is probably like up above. Uh, it might be. Or maybe the Shattered Lake continues in and that's where it's gonna be. It's, I, I... Yeah, let's, um... yeah, let's go through there. It's possible that that chest is on one of these pillars, maybe? Because I ain't seeing it. And I'm assuming that this is also part of the Shattered Lake, although I guess we'll find out when we go in. I just don't want to miss something that I have to come back to. Mm. Nope, although I can climb that. Looks like a way through over there. All right, is this part? Yep. So I could climb up the ice wall. Oh, we got this like cool structure here. Oh, I love that. All right, cool. Um, what does it want me to do? I think it wants me to climb, but where? How do I get up that? I'm so confused. Right here. It says right here. Oh, I see. There's a crack. Gotcha. I would not have seen that, I don't think, unless I looked at the map. It was, uh... It's kind of hard to see. Also, how cool is it that we're getting a... Like a change in climate? Oh, no. That's not what I want to do. Go back, Cal. You know, we've we've had like all these nice planets of oh, Dathomir, sure, whatever. It's dark and dingy, but it's still like 
a warm planet, a temperate planet. This is not. This is. This is really cool. It's a good change of pace, and it's a good thing to do right before the end of the game. Changes it up. Like if I had to go to, I don't know, another. Like if I had to go to Yavin Four, <laughs> I'd be like, ah, oh, come on. You guys were really like foresty stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess Zepho is just kind of like, I don't know, like a mix between Scotland and Ireland. Or like the Skella Giles or stuff like that. That's a big change of pace, I suppose, but it's still like a green planet. Mostly. <laughs> I guess there's snow on it too, now that I'm remembering. Not much to see, is there? We should head back down. Uh -huh. My face is going numb. Can I? Oh, that's right. I don't have a lightsaber. I can't get through that. Ah. Haha. <laughs> They're changing it up. Oh. Oh. That's where I need to go, I think. Because I can go into here. You know what? Yeah, I do. I do think that the chest is going to be down there. Can I, can I actually crawl all the way back down here? Let's do this. Where, where was it? Where did I miss it? Oh, I see. There's like a little lip. All right, is this it? Yes. Is there, are we gonna get our chest here? Or is the other one the chest? Ooh, this is cool. We got a way down. Ooh. Is he gonna scan something? He made a noise like he wanted to scan something. What's this? Gathering room. Gathering room lies at the entrance to the crystal caves, used primarily as a meeting area. Jedi Masters brought younglings here for instruction and meditation before they began their sacred search for kyber crystals. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, no. Pull, no. Not push. All right, let's take this and we put it in there. Which opens that up. Oh, uh, man, this in the music is just so good. Oh, that's really pretty. Used to be beautiful. The warmth is nice. Magnifying window. Built by Jedi Masters who constructed the temple on Ilum a thousand years ago, this window magnified natural light for heat, a beam of intense light generated through the large glass portal when or it was then directed to specific areas of ice that melted under the heat. Huh. Okay, so I can hop down here. Is this the way to go? No, this is the Jedi Temple. Explore Jedi Temple. Mm, let's. I guess we're gonna wait to go up there to get our lightsaber, right? So let's get our crystal here. Let's make our lightsaber and then we'll go from there. This seems like a big puzzle area. Um, let's check this way first. So we have that to open the door. I remember this room. Master Yoda melted that door to let us into the caves. That's cool. Not with the force. With that crystal. The light passed through it and carried its warmth. I bet we can do it too. Okay, so I gotta get light to pass through the crystal. Gotcha. Where do I lock this in at? Maybe, oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I just, so then that lets the light go through, but I need, I need to amplify it. So I need to get the crystal in a different spot. Okay, so I can flip that, which means that if I open this, one. ah, it's a prism. It's a prism. So I can attach that. Oh, this is cool. This is a really cool puzzle. Open. Okay, is there anything else I could do with that? Is there anything that I look like I can... Oh my goodness, the, the, the cool Jedi statues and everything. <sighs> I'm having fun. 
All right, I guess we can go over there then, yeah? So let's jump over. Like, obviously I need to melt that, but I want to look over here because it says I, I'm missing a chest here. Light enhancing crystals. Crystals arranged within the temple enhance light to focus heat on specific areas. As the light beam melts the ice, it opens hidden passageways known only to the Jedi. Hmm. Okay, I definitely can't go down there. Yeah, definitely can't go down there. Just making sure. Can we go up here? All right, so what's the point of being able to go that way? I think... This seems a little fishy. What's the point of that? Okay, so that I have open. If I pull that, I don't think that's going to work, right? Yeah, that's just going to break that. Which then... What if... I hop down here. What if I grab this and I pull this over to here? Okay. Then, in order to get back over to there... Oh, that's that's the point of having this. It's so you can get around. Gotcha. Okay, I can't do that because I have to pull that to the other side, right? I think that's the point of that. How far can I go with this? Not very, is the answer. Okay. So... Because I can't lock that into anything. Oops. Nope. Nope. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. We do that. It pulls it that way. Then I do this. And that's how we melt that. Right. Why does it feel like I'm still missing that chest? I feel like there is a chest here and I'm just missing. I got no idea. Very interesting. All right, let's hop down. Oh, got scanny boy. A statue of a Jedi Master. The statue of a venerable Jedi Master adorns the central chamber leading to the Crystal Cave. Carved hundreds of years ago, it serves as a symbol to the sacred wisdom, enlightenment, and er, preservation of one of, or of the once great Jedi Order. See, I say like, you know, the Old Republic is not um, canon, but like all of this stuff feels very Old Republic, even High Republic. Jedi devices. Jedi devices were constructed uh, within this ancient temple to control uh, to control certain conditions or activate protected passages. Many such tools exist using basic levers, swivel arms, and rudimentary objects that, when positioned properly, will achieve a specific purpose. I, I actually really want to get into High Republic stuff, but right now it all is kind of, you know, book-based, paper-based, and... I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like I've got time to even play games that I want to play, let alone sit down and read a book. I need to get better at time management. Then maybe I can actually like sit down and read. Yes, I am going to rest. There's no reason not to. I haven't fought anything. I guess there was no reason to rest. There's a better, better way to put that, right? Because I hadn't taken any damage. Oh, this is so cool. Down we go, I guess. That looks really cold. Is that water? Oof. Okay. Down we go. Gotta look for the chest here. That's where we're gonna find it. It's somewhere in here. I'm expecting like a big old fish. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a geothermal thing. That's why it's not cold. Gotcha. That makes sense. Give me that poncho. It is BD1 skin. 
It's a f oh, second to last one. Ooh, that one's cool. It's like a like a white and like a baby blue with some black accents. That's cool. I'm gonna stick to our our other one. Um, where did I want me to go? Just got that chest. Oh my goodness, it turned me around. That's where I came from. No, that's not where I came from. That's where it wants me to go. Right? Oh wow, I got like really turned around in there after I got that chest. Let's let's get out of the water and check. I feel like I might have missed something back there. I did. Oh, that's why I was turned around. It's because that I thought yeah, I thought we were supposed to be going that way, but there was this opening over here. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Cal just got very confused for a moment. Each path is different, young one. Be mindful of your anger. Ugh. <laughs> Angry youngling. A pack dropped by a frustrated youngling. Some success, but some fail. Or some succeed, but some fail. Uh, this one gave into... Did it say his anger or her anger? Actually, didn't read the whole part of that. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Unless it's trying to allude to somebody in particular. I, I expect it's not trying to allude to, like, Vader. Which has honestly been missing from this game. And I think... Uh, to the detriment of the game, I think it, I think it would be better if it mentioned uh, Vader a little bit, or just even like reference like like we don't want to deal with him. You know the the Darth Vader of There's the end of Rogue One. Water, but it's freezing up here. Like that that is such a terrifying thought. Did we, did we finish all of this back here? Let's go back. Jedi Temple, 90% explored. What did I miss? I must've missed like a scan or something somewhere. Unless that counts. No, that's Shattered Lake. 90% explored. So I'm missing some kind of force echo or something. Okay, just gonna have to keep an eye out for that. It's, I mean, it's possible that maybe it's here. It's calling to me. We must be close. Jedi I can't pick any kyber crystal. It chooses you. <laughs> yeah, kind of like you. Cool. That that didn't explore. It. Okay, that's fine. We got two chests, two secrets in here. Looks like we're going this way. I, you know, I I love the ooh, the story of like the kyber crystals and how they end up working for Jedi. Oh, geodes. Uh, Ilum is naturally abundant in geological formations found within mineral-rich underground rock. Billions of years of accumulated mineral matter deposited from hypothermal fluids have infused the rock walls with valuable con constituents, uh, including rare crystals. So, you know, like like uh, like Kylo Ren with his crystal choice and having a very unstable lightsaber. Like that's such a, a cool shake. idea. It'll be okay. I wish. I wish like. That whole like lightsaber lore was used a little bit more in normal um, Star Wars media than it is. Always look backwards. Okay, good to know. It's interesting that we can go back up that way. Still nothing here. All right, this is gonna be fun. Unless it's one of those really annoying sliding ones. No, we're good. <laughs> That's cool. Ah, I got stuck. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Close one. It's weird that I expected that. I to play too much Tomb Raider. Calls getting stronger. Let's hurry. It calls to you. Twenty-six percent explored. I felt like I saw an echo somewhere over there. Oh, it's that. It's a lighting. It's really cool lighting, but that's what it's doing. Let's save. We've got a lot of experience for not killing anything. <laughs> so I can go that way? Maybe? Oh, maybe not. I don't think I can make that jump. All right, let's go this way. That, that might be the way out. I feel like Wait, I'm surrounded by ghosts. No. Is it? 
I'm not all right. It's an examine, right? It's hard to be here. Thanks, buddy. Meditate. Hmm. I guess not. Anything over here? Like, <laughs> just I'm just looking for everything. I have, there's apparently two secrets and two uh, two chests, and I haven't found a single thing. Uh oh. How did they find us here? How am I supposed to deal with this? I guess that works. Oh, that's cool. That's like, hey, buddy, you're going to need to figure out a way to kill something without a lightsaber. I guess I could slice it too with, with BD1. Oh, that's definitely where it wants us to go. But what's over here? Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Hey, BD1. <laughs> there we go. That's the way to do that. <laughs> Can you get it in there? I can't do it because I'm in combat. All right, now you. <laughs> We've got a problem. There are probes right in the caverns. There's no way they could have put a tracker on us. But I would have said the same about Trilla hijacking your comm. Louise and I will search the mantis. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as I've got my crystal. You're vulnerable out there. Don't take any unnecessary risks. New lightsaber sleeve. Is this actually where it wants me to go? There's no way. Right? What was back over here? Did I miss something? Surely that's where it wants me to go. So what is this? There's nothing here. I wasn't expecting a call with her. This takes me where? Back that way. Interesting. I'm just now I'm I'm on like full on. Oh, and that gives me that so we can get up over there. But why? <gasps> why do we need to go up there? Should I just go back the other way? Am I? <laughs> Wait. This isn't leading me to anywhere I need to go, right? Oh, now we're back up here. That's how we get over there. That's it. I can see it shining. But, but, what? But what was down there? One or two chests. There's the secrets. But what was over there? I feel really confused. I feel like the game wants me to do something. Can I jump down here? I didn't know if it was going to do like fall damage or something. Okay, that was the save point. Yeah. Let's jump down here. Run across. I... <laughs> I'm so confused. Is this where it wanted me to go? It's a big old shiny thing. Maybe that's the secret that I have to go find. Is that what that is? Okay, then we're gonna go this way. Oh, nope. Timidly grab onto that. Alright, that was almost bad. Okay, maybe maybe this is the the area for the secret. What? Why is he not jumping? That's odd. <laughs> I'm like holding over. He just didn't want to go. Huh. Okay. Another secret. Where did you last see him? He was heading into the caves. He called out, but I couldn't find him. Youngling lost. Remains of a camp. A Jedi Master was concerned for a youngling that was missing in the caves. Okay. Let's go back. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, okay. I get it. Okay. So now it wants us to come over here. So it like intentionally wanted us to find that secret. They like put it right there. It's like, hey, dumb, dumb. You're going to need max life going into the final boss fight or whatever. It's like, here, here is your, like, this is your perfect opportunity to get. All these upgrades. 
I suppose if you weren't exploring the game up to this point and going back in the levels that it wanted you to go back to, to, to get upgrades, then you would, you'd be kind of far behind. Oh, that's so pretty. That is a, that is an awesome shot. Okay. Well, that's back to where we came. It wants me to go this way. I'm fully expecting there to be the chests in the water, right? Got nothing there, but oh yeah, there's one right there. I should be a level designer. I can, I can sense where these things are at. Okay, we got another lightsaber thing. I gotta find a lightsaber area to adjust my lightsaber to. I suppose I'm about to make my own, so I, to, it's an opportunity to do that. But I feel like. I want to see how much is left as far as the lightsabers are concerned. And that's where we came in at. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Do I need to go up there? No, it wants me to have a lightsaber. There's a bunch of stuff here to explore with a lightsaber. Chest? Chest? Chest anywhere? No? Always look backwards. Okay. I don't know why I don't like being in water in games. They gave me the expectation that like a shark is gonna come at me, even though there's been no water creature in the game thus far. Some pretty nasty water creatures in Star Wars though. I don't like it. Oh, it reminds me of, I don't remember the name of the game, but there's a Star Wars game that was on the N64. Oh, I, it. I remember. I promise. It wasn't Dark Forces or something. It was something like that. I don't remember the name of the game. I, I never remember the name of this game. But, like, it started off with you doing Hoss, like the Battle of Hoss, and you were in the snow speeder and uh, taking down, like, ATSTs. But later in the game, they had, like, this big water creature that you took out in, like, a swampy thing. Or, no, it wasn't swampy. I'm misremembering. It's, it was in, like, a mechanical area. And it was basically the creature from... Um, Star Wars Episode 4 in the Trash Compactor. Or, my memory is betraying me and I'm combining two games. That's also a possibility. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up on the next like, cutscene because I'm really curious. I it, it's, it's one of those things I played so many Star Wars games growing up that... It's hard to remember which one is which. Uh, uh, CD, don't come any closer! What? All right. Okay. What was the point of that? Of saying don't come any closer? Oh, I'm in the cold water now. Rise, Cal. You can do it. You're right there. Just get yourself out of the water. You just gotta like ascend. I mean that in like the Star Wars or Star Gateway. Thank you. 
Failure's not the end, my friend. Are we gonna see a force ghost? This is First of all, how did you find us? Second, force ghost? Yes, goodbye. The time's come. Aw. This may be the last you see of me. I can sense the doom of the Jedi Order is upon us. <laughs> no! Failure is not the end. It is a necessary part of the path. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. Like you, BD-1. I believe you will find someone just as brave and persistent as you have been. And you will help them as you have helped me. But your memory will be completely lost. Are you sure you want to do this? Beginning total memory encryption. <laughs> Only with a trusted connection will your memories be restored. I believe in you, as I always have. And I believe in whom you choose to replace me. cool multiple entries uh a quick update yeah i did look it up it is star wars shadows of the empire um on the n64 now i always get confused with that because there is a previous shadows of the empire game from long ago i think it was like a, almost almost like a doom like game and i only really ever played that game once but the n64 shadow of the empire is the um, yeah, the one where you start out with the, the AT, um, AT fight with, uh, the snow speeders and yeah, anyways, you do end up fighting that creature from episode four in the, the trash compactor, the, uh, Dia, Dianaga, Diagana, whatever it's called, but you fight a colossal version of it. It's like a, like an uber giant one. And it's the only appearance of that creature in that gigantic form in all of Star Wars media even though that one creature has appeared in countless other things. Crazy. Anyway, it's just a, it's a weird little... Anyways, they have weird monsters, weird water monsters. I don't like that. That's that's where that, that rotates back into. All right, my friend. In his final message, Master Cordova revealed a close connection to BD-1, his faithful companion droid. On their many adventures, they shared close trust as BD-1 recorded Cordova's journey and vital knowledge. When they parted ways, BD-1 agreed to have his memory banks encrypted with this information, beginning his important mission and saying goodbye to one another. Okay, can I... Is it not going to let me go over? No, okay. Um, if I go back and I go to Cordova's journey, we have a new one here. Um... Yeah, I, I saw that one because it said multiple entries. Oh, Cordova's Journey had a different one. 
Um, Astrarium, Astrium, whatever. No, we've done that one. All right, so that one's. I'm just gonna look through these. Cal. Okay, I think we've that was before. That's for Seer. This is for Grease. That's for BD1. Um, that didn't have any new information. My sister. I just I just want to get rid of all these. Oh, I can mark all as red. Awesome. <laughs> I don't have to go through that whole thing again. This is a forge. We're gonna forge our kyber crystal back together. Oh, I see. Wait, what? I get to choose a lightsaber color? Okay, what do we got? We got teal, pink, pur purple, blue, green. No, that's purple. That's like uber purple. Uh, let's like an orange or a yellow. I see it's funny how I can't do red. I kind of want to do pink. I I also kind of like this color here. That's an interesting one you don't see very often. This is so cool. Purple is also really rad. I think purple is going to be most people's choice. They're like, oh, you don't you don't really see purple that often. Um. I really like this one. Let's go with this one. It's unique. It's cool, right? Is there like a new game plus where I can play through with all the upgrades and everything? That would be fun. It wouldn't really make sense with the powers. Maybe not. I don't know. Lightsaber splits. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> that was a cool ability. Oh, I wish I wish I could just have the two. <laughs> oh, I like that. That is so cool. Magenta. That's our color. Magenta. Okay, emitter. We have all the emitters. We have all the switches. We have all the sleeves. Um, we have let's see, the other emitter because, of course, we can swap them out independently of each other. How cool is that? Let's um, <clears throat> let's make the other one like ooh, I like that. Let's go with that. And then material, we have a bunch of different materials. But I feel like in order to go with the magenta, we're gonna <laughs> swap that out. Oh, did we have all the materials too? Oh, we're missing one material. It does not have us. So we're, we're like really close to being done with this game then. Oh, and it gave us all of them. So, oh my goodness. The whole thing at the beginning of the game where I was like, I wish that it would give us more lightsaber colors to unlock. But they did. They just did it in a way more reasonable way. <laughs> one that actually makes sense for the story. So we have purple. We have the orange. That was the one we had before. Yellow, cyan, magenta, and indigo. Let's go magenta, right? We're going magenta. That's what we're going with. So we just have that one material and like a handful of other things, like maybe like four or five other things to unlock and then we're done unlocking everything. Oh, that was awesome. We're still missing a secret though. And I'm guessing a lot of it has to do with now having a lightsaber. So let's push forward. Oh, I love the lightsaber now. Oh, I really do. Oh, that was so cool. I love this game. It's really growing on me. By the way, the next uh, Fallen Order game, it's not called Fallen Order, it's called uh, Jedi Survival? Survive? Survivor is the, the uh, rumor, the leak. I don't, I don't know how 
you know, true that is, but that's that's what they've said. And it's set for Q1 2023. So we're actually not far away. I mean, less than a year away from the game. So, man, I'm looking forward to that. That's especially after this, like it can only go up. I think I, I don't I don't foresee them flopping the next game. I think it's going to be as good or better.